girl. Uh, you, so you know, you know, Kyle, you know, so good about bubs. They're, huh? they're always around when you don't have a chaw. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. This you know, just so happen you're so right that we're gonna talk about this bullshit today. They would have never guessed. Yeah. <coughs> you know, you can't tell about title. <laughs> Push <laughs> monkey. <laughs> yeah, look at those laugh lines. Look at that. That's a, that's a dip. Oh, no. That's one of the shit dips. Dude. I, it's like. So it's like. The dip. It's okay, so he's like he's retarded. So um, dip drug dealers in school, pretty much. Dip. Yeah. So this is this is the gist of the dip experience. So it all started in like what seventh grade. Yeah. This guy right here. I'm stoned. Shut up. No, he's just playing. He's not stoned. But this guy right here, he's he started dipping before me. I, I started <laughs> dipping my sophomore year. He started. Was it seventh grade? No, it was it eighth grade? Like eighth or freshman year, I don't remember. It was eighth, yeah, it was eighth grade, I remember, because I went over to your house to play some Black Ops. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, if you're any kind of backwoods school like we were, dipping is like the coolest thing in ever. You get fucking, you're showing, you get fucking clout, basically. You get like, your status goes up, the more, like, the fatter the fucking chaw, the more your status, it just continues to rise right child was hoes and, yeah. was the and if you dipped in school you were the biggest badass ever it didn't matter if you got caught or not if you went to detention which we called it pass you're fucking badass bro you pack some fat lips and it's like the, the motherfuckers like gunner and them they're putting their front fucking pocket they was g's nigga nigga they was g's bro you getting ahead of yourself we're starting in middle school I, middle school yeah, I was like senior year, nigga. I didn't fuck with the mother dudes middle school year. So, anyways, so you know, but it progressed, and like freshman year, it became like the staple because it was high school. It became the staple. So, like after lunch, bro, like you go in, people be selling like little, like in Ziploc bags, just dip. Like what was it? Fifty cents, seventy-five cents. Man, it was fifty cents a dip. Unless they's fucking straight hustlers too, because they's the only ones around with dip, and they knew and they knew they was. There's a dollar a pinch, man. Mm -hmm. When the times got hard, because the teachers would crack down and the staff yeah. would crack down. Right, yep. Supplies, supply was out, man. Plugs was getting caught. Yeah. Plugs was getting caught. Dealers was getting hit. It was terrible. I only got caught twice, and I mean it was. Whew. Yeah. I got caught a couple times, but mm -hmm. that's that's how I made money in school. Yeah. I buy like the shit. I, I do it hard. I do it like cheap as fuck. I buy like Stokers and Longhorn. But like when you're a freshman, like you don't really do it. Like you try to, but like it's really sketchy and you're scared. As, you're scared as fuck. And freshmen will literally pay like a like two or three dollars for a can of dip, or not can of for a pinch. I pay like ten for a can. Yeah, and they'll only do it like in weightlifting and shit. Like they're, they're sketchy. Like everybody was sketched our freshman year. And the sophomore came. That's when I started playing football. And then like you know, a practice, you'd fucking do it. And, weightlifting and do it and it just became like a like every day at school oh you would have one in you had to you even going no one, you ain't going to school that dip no one was yeah like fuck it and the teachers like some teachers really cared and some like didn't care at all it was, it was that made me so mad mm -hmm. like it was very unbalanced but you, you, you never according knew. to the agenda book or the rule book you weren't supposed to have like on your person or in your truck or anything but you know we all did i kept in my ball sack told them to come the fuck at it so sophomore year, that's when I started dipping, and it's because of this guy. No, yeah. not this guy. Well, it's not because of him, but he gave me my first dip. Yeah, I blame Gunner. But yeah, Gunner got me started. To be honest, the only reason I've done it is because my grandpa. Like every time I saw him, he had to. He does Silver Creek, and I know that, that shit's disgusting, but that's kind of he likes, and he always had like a fucking like hog nut in. You know what I mean? And yeah. I always looked up to my grandpa, and I was like, you know what? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Plus my whole family does it, so I was like, okay. It's gotta like get to. So my first dip was Stoker's Mint. Never forget it. Because of this one. And I was like, hell yeah, that's pretty good. Fifteen minutes later I had some Stoker's Wintergreen when I get in now. And I kept it in like the whole night. Oh. I was like, oh this is amazing. Oh you, you know? try you tried like everything, didn't you? Yeah. Did you, no, I didn't have straight though. I don't know if you do or not. 
Oh, I didn't have straight that night. I had wintergreen and mint and something else. It may have, I don't know, maybe it's been a different brand. I know it's something. I know it's like three cans. Yeah. Maybe grizzly, I don't know. Well, like, I couldn't tell my parents because I thought my parents would freak out about it, honestly, so. I was just chilling. And then I went to Michigan with Hunter, Gunner, and, um, it was like no, like, everybody has that cool uncle that's not really their uncle, but you call him their uncle, you know, they're related. And he let me stay in a camper up in Michigan for like a whole week, well, 100 bucks, just me and my friend. And all we did was fish, fuck bitches, get drunk every night. We went, you know, I, you've seen Turtle Man, you know how Kentucky boys are. We jump in the water and catch turtles and shit. And uh, it was pretty fun, I ain't gonna lie. But on the way there, I tried Skull Cherry. That was the third dip I had. And you know, when you first start dipping, it's actually, Skull's pretty good, but now it tastes like ass. Except for the peach. Yeah. The peach is all right. But. Dude, what is that? What? Got there on the kids in the winds. What up, peoples? Pretty wrong side. Mm. Take a two. No, dude, that's. Oh, I. Right. Mm hmm. But yeah. So I tried that, but my parents still didn't know. And then I got a can of Copenhagen mint and I brought it back with me. I said, fuck it. So I was in my room. I packed a fatty. And then I was just waiting for my mom to come in and tell me, you know, to wash the dishes or something, you know, chores or what. I don't know. She came in there for something. And then she just kind of stared at me. Like she's like, you know, like gazing at me, like stinking on me, you know? And I just kind of smile and I'm like, what? And she's like, what's that in your lip? She said, it's Copenhagen mint. She just shrugs like, oh, well, you got it honestly. And I was like, you right, you right. Yeah, you could be, you be still, you could be like dealing with the slime in the bathroom from the trailer park like me. Mm -hmm. You could be dealing with my kind, nigga. Yeah, it was like a drug ring. In the fucking it it might as well have been. Like, my, I think my mom thought it was or some shit. Mm -hmm. Cause like her excuse for getting it for me when other people would ask her, like people had no goddamn reason to even know. Mm -hmm. She'd be like, what, well, you, you don't know what them boys be putting in that dip. They be put anything in it. And like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure she's like thinking that like, they's like putting like drugs in it or some shit. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Everybody just like white dip. Like, like at first I thought, well, I mean, I guess I could buy a redip, but I doubt it. I don't think I'm that dumb. Right. How did, how did your parents even let you start dipping? They just, they really didn't care because I'm a whole family, like my grandpa and my grandpa. That so they just, they that. just didn't grandma give a and my fuck. grandpa, yeah. That don't make no sense, this is gay. Oh, well, they don't give a fuck. Your parents are strict as fuck. I know. This is weird. I don't know, they're just weird. Like, I was, I was giving money to this one, I was letting his mom buy it for me for the longest time. That I was the dealer, my mom was the plug. <laughs> yeah. I was a good dealer, I didn't even charge nothing for the shipping or nothing. Yeah. That was that was, but that was that was retarded. That's how he would tell you. That's how you did get it for a few days, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. How the fuck? My my mom wouldn't have bought it for you if she knew your parents. Did. How the fuck did we? You said it was for you. You'd always get two cans. You oh, give me a can, and I'll give yeah. I give you the money for the can. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm right on. Right on. But yeah, that's the gist. Like how it was. That's how it was, but that's like, how it was. Dude, I'm I still can't get over like. The bath, the bathroom drug ring deserves more talk than that. When we give, I can't get over that. Literally, it'd be slimy as fuck. Like around cafeteria or like we get, like break, like maybe like ten minutes. Like we didn't do shit, just chill in the hallways. Like you can go to the bathroom and get dip. But the sketchy part about it was like at like lunch or some shit. There'd be freshmen hovering around the cafeteria for like the first couple weeks. Be like, hey, 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 word on the street is you know where I can get some dip. Is that true? They're like, yeah, dog, go to the bathroom. Like it's like they like go around the cafeteria, look for look for the dealer, and go meet him in the bathroom, and they roll up with a dollar like all slimy. They're like, yo, hey, hey, hey yo, where did you got dip? <laughs> it's like what the yeah. fuck? Looking for the principals, like watch for the law, got lookouts and everything. Mm -hmm. Had like lookouts in the bathroom and shit, some inside and out. We had that shit. That shit was locked up tight. And then of course junior year, that's when we like started not giving a fuck. Oh, yeah. Which junior year, like I knew, like where I'm in the guard, I knew I was like going to basic between junior and senior year, so I just really did not care. And 
I, I don't remember my schedule, but I remember like I took all the stupid classes. I didn't take no AP. And then I took weightlifting, ROTC, and then I think it was it was some other thing. Like I didn't do anything. Oh yeah, it was a drum class because you had to have an arts credit. I was stupid. I hated that. But that's beside the point. Yeah. But started not to care. And of course, you know, you start driving to school your junior year. If you get your permit. Or before you know or if you know you can survive gunner, getting you kicked out of the parking lot because y'all want to do donuts. Mm -hmm. yeah. That lasted all it wouldn't have mattered. That was that was a fucking that was the, I was perma band. Perma band. Perma band. Mm -hmm. That the he's got me perma band from like ten places, nigga. I know. I'm perma band from like the Walmart and Berea. You need to write that down. We we gotta talk about that. We'll podcast or video that late, uh, yeah, later. Yeah, yeah. You right. You right. We, but uh, yeah, you drive you, you drive to school or like you car or like you carpool and shit. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't give a fuck. In senior year, we really didn't give a fuck. That's a whole different ball game. Like honestly, like I had like I don't wear skinny jeans or like skinny khakis, or whatever. But I always, you know, I was like a tight tight fit. Like you know? joggers. Yeah, like no, no. I'm just talking about in general. I don't, oh, I don't like, like his baggy ass pants. Oh, they're, they're like, they're, I like they call like straight, so I'm like straight cut, straight, uh, straight leg or something. Mm -hmm. They got like just a little bit like they tie around here. Got a little bit of pull up in the top. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's... And like all three of us wore those are joggers or something because you know we were all in weightlifting since senior year. I was just, I was just swagging it, but uh... and <laughs> we'd have fucking dip cans in our back pocket or right in our front. And, like no one cared. Wait, fuck. Like no. It was only us three. Everybody else was still trying to hide it, and we just—you could see it. I just, I just quit caring. I mean, sometimes I had like two cans on me. Like you could, you could clearly see the imprint sticking up like that much. In in my head, I mean, I worked, I worked a lot during school. I worked at the gas station. Mm -hmm. Literally, throughout school, I worked like forty-hour weeks. So in my head, like, damn, you can take this can of Stokers. I'm getting a fresh one at work anyway. All right. I don't give a fuck. I don't care either. Like the seniors was like the OGs of the dip of the dip drug ring. <laughs> Mm. For real, seniors was the OGs, especially our class. Fucking one of the teachers, literally like, uh, uh, uh Mr. F. Uh, he like, he was like, I was in his class, seeing my can. He was like, what's? He's like, what is? He's like, he's like, Mr. Isaac, what is that? I was like, what is what? I completely forgot about it myself. And he's like, that uh, that that circular object in your front pocket. I said, oh, that's my child. He looked at me, his face got like blood fucking red. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, I'm thinking like, bro, I'm like 18 out this bitch. Like, All right. like it's like, it's uh, it's okay now. It's not like, y'all like to like it was crack, mm -hmm. but like, it's not, it's, it's cool now. It's, 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 it's tight, it's straight. And he was like, next time. Like you look at his really squirt, he's like, next time, leave that can in the car. Yeah. Didn't, didn't and we didn't you know the, the fact that I drove to school didn't come up but I, I didn't unnecessary I didn't need to bring that up <laughs> I was like which he packs like fucking he don't dip but he has a actual like chew if you see my side school up fucking so some of them like coach dude dude the whitelisting teacher I, I, he, I seen him send everybody in my class to detention but me same but uh, dude, Gunner got sent out like four different times. <laughs> the got, got, you know what? It's because he's pits in the corner. I had the yeah, audacity. Yeah. I had a bottle. I he did too. I'd be like benching, and then I'd get done and just. I did too. Literally, this was so disgusting. I didn't do it. Everyone went to this, this same fucking corner. They spent in the fucking corner. They, they like, we have like one bench set there that people sit in there too. They get lazy. They'll sit there and spit on the wall and they go in the corner. And the way them teach you gotta clean that shit up. And that's what pisses them off. Oh, you, can, you can't even blame them. Like, like for real, that's just, you don't, man, that's just like, disgusting. You want me going to your house and spit in your corner, dog? Like, it's gross, nigga. Is it out of sight, out of mind then? Mm -hmm. Is it different then? Yeah, and especially, I mean, the weightlifting room, it, it stunk anyway, but like, yeah. rotten fucking dip is like the worst smell. That, that's just, and that's just rude, despite everything else. It's just fucking rude. Like, I think that's, I think that's really why I didn't go to detention, because I would always spit in a bottle. Mm -hmm. He's seen me, I know he's seen me do it a lot. Right, spit in the trash can. Like, he's watched me multiple times. This dude ain't stupid. He can, he knows. Mm -hmm. he, I mean, that's, that's real shit. It don't matter how small it is or how pushed back it is. He, he just knows. Yeah, he, he does it himself, like, in practice and shit. It's like, it just depends. He's like, it, I, I just, he just, if, if he looked like, I mean, like being dumb or disgusting, he's, got, he's like, what the fuck? 
Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you, you can't rope in there and pack a big ass, fat, you know, dick dipski, and you know, expect to wave it because that shit's foul. But you know, fuck it. They kept getting on a hundred because hundred was the one that was spinning the fucking corner. I mean, everyone, but everyone got the same corner spit. But like, he was growing. Like, yeah, he, he would. It was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'd even try to hand him a bottle. Ones like, here, Gunner, here's a bottle. Here's spit. You know, and he's like, mm mm. It's like, what the fuck? You nasty. That's just disrespect, dude. It's like, he don't give a fuck. But now he's going to give a fuck. So I'm out of you three million. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Because, like, you're going to get so sent. You're going to get so sent out. Everything around you is going to get sent out. You want to develop a get sent out gravity. And I ain't yeah. going to get. I ain't part of its pool. Yeah. I ain't in that gravitational fuck shit. Like, everything can be okay. No matter what if it you, is. If you just use your noodle. Yeah. You gotta do it in moderation. Moderation. It's key. And you gotta do it in a respectful way. It's key to success. Yeah, see, you can shit on a person, but, like, if you, like, why you gotta You gotta ask. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be like, hey, can I shit on you? Can I shit on your chest? Like, come on. God damn it. No, I wasn't going there, but I was like, hey. <laughs> That's where I was going. That's like the same if you use TP and shit. Like, you make sure you clean thoroughly. Yeah, you know, use baby wipes, clean up. If you make them think they want you to shit on you, then it's all it's good. Mm-hmm. you like, yeah. Really but if you, like, make it look like you're forcing the shit and it's going to be diarrhea, they ain't going to want a part of that. No, it's not healthy. Everyone like there were people that legitimately acted like detention was like they were dramatic. They made it dramatic. Either like one person, one person thought they gonna get like they got a life sentence. Mm -hmm. This person thinks that they a punk just got out of jail thirty years for like beating up a billion people or some shit. It's like either they think they mean as hell now or they like they 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 they're crying. Well, that's like fucking Mr. D, dude. He's a preacher. Not, I don't have anything against that, of course, you know. But he's like he was really uptight. And I got caught with dip in his class one time. And it was when that one guy, you know, you remember uh, when that guy wrecked and we... Yep. Yeah. It was literally that day, like the saddest day of the school year. And uh, we didn't do anything all day in class. No. Nah. And I was like, bro, I need to dip because everybody was in a bummed out mood. Just, uh, rem just reminiscing and shit. I got out of my, I got out of Mr. F's class to go to Mr. D's class because because of, you know, everything. And I, oh, I was sitting there, I was talking. Last six minutes of class you were sitting out, didn't you? Yeah, last six <laughs> minutes of school. Of school, I was <laughs> And he says, Monday morning, or no, wait, no, it was a Thursday. He said, Friday, you can be in here, but Monday, start your week of pass. And like, a whole week, I did nothing but sit in the same room, didn't get no break, just sat there. This mo motherfucker Last the six minutes of school. Motherfucker got nerve to get caught while everyone was watching the fucking, even the teachers watching the fucking clock. Mm-hmm. Bruh. bruh. And then not, even, not even a week later, after I got out of detention, I had, pretty sure, yeah, I had my can in my pocket. And he's like, what is that? And he sent me out again. <laughs> only him. He's the only one. And I'm like. Did, what did you think was going to Didn't you learn? Mm -hmm. That's what you get from the audacity to not be willing to wait, to get six extra minutes to go to your truck and do it. For what real? you get, like, really? You had it's, it's not even that, bro. It's just it's how he is. One time I put too many screws in the wall and he made me pick up 1,826, no, 27 screws. I'd have counted. <laughs> I'd be damned. He, he threw them all over the shop. I'd be damned. I'd he, be like, it's he took a box of screws, like on big boxes, and goes, and gets a broom and just everywhere. And I was like, I'd be like, well, that, that that's a shame, bro. I mean, yeah. you, you have fun picking that shit He's up. He's like, either you get kicked out of the class and fail the school year, or you pick these up. And I was like, well, see, that's okay. Like, I guess it's different for you, but me, I don't give. I I, gro I dropped that anyway. I'd been like, all right, later, dog. Right. I went and came back, and then I had a reason not to come back and you know waste the waste extra days. I was done with my circuit and everything. He was an electricity teacher, and fuck him. There's a wall, and there's already like literally thousands of screw holes because we all use the same holes. And I had to drill, and I was just drilling in screws. I had like 10, 12 screws just in a you know in a row because. There's nothing else to do, and he said, if you're not busy, you look like you're busy, so I'm just screwing screws in the wall. Next day, I walk in, yeah, that's what happened. Dude, when, dude, fuck. I remember, I remember when me and Nate Dog got caught. Mm -hmm. Blamed it all on me, bruh. Mm -hmm. Like, he didn't have 50% part in it. That was a, that was a half and half. Because mm -hmm. you got to be willing to do the shit to get caught doing the shit. 
Went to the toilet, tried to get a dip, and it was like, like we had this shit planned out. We had to go to the bathroom. Was that at lunch? No, no, no. We, we was in class. We had, we like planned it out. I'm like, I'm, we gonna like, we can go to the bathroom at this certain time. And we met in the, we met in the bathroom. Yeah, well, that, I guess, well, yeah, people was at lunch. So I guess it was like, yeah, it'd be like first or second lunch period. I think I was there. Cause I know, I know it was early. I left right before you guys got in trouble. I remember, cause I was the, in there. That fucking, I, I, I was getting it. Nathaniel's, look, Nate Dog's supposed to be looking out. He didn't do his job. He didn't do his Was part. it a coach? It was, yeah, the ball, the, the the one that hung around the principal a lot. Yeah, and had like the yeah. little goatee? Yep, fuck him. He caught us. And dude, when he fucking, oh my God, dude, he took, some motherfuckers take shit way too literally. Way too literally. Because when he caught us, dude, it was like, it was like a cop that, you know, that fucking caught a fucking cocaine lord or something. Mm-hmm. Puffed his chest out, puffed his chest out and shit, popped some blood veins. He's like, well, now what's this here? Well, that's a that's a that's a pretty big offense around this school. Let's go see a principal. And he like fucking power walked all the way to the detention room. I was like, what the fuck? And then they're like, we're gonna call your mom. And I'm like, good luck. It's like it was it had to be it had to be before twelve. Cause I, cause I was like, good luck. Mom's still asleep. But <laughs> you can go all over there like four or five hours. Mm-hmm. Cause she worked night shift. Like she don't she don't she don't no nah, she ain't gonna be awake through the day. Mm-hmm. He called. He tried to dial it. He handed it to me, and I'm like, I'm good, I'm good, bro. And then, like, it rang, like, one time, and just to fuck with him, I was like, I was like, oh, you know what, all right, that's cool, all right, all right, see it. And I, like, hung up the phone, and he was like, what the fuck? And I was like, I was talking to the answer machine, bro, it told me, like, hey, the number ain't available or some shit. Mm-hmm. I lied, how this fuck? And he's like, start to dial it again, I'm like, bro, I'm gonna do the same shit. <laughs> this place got so red, he's like, do you already know the world of trouble you're in? And I'm like. Not really, because I got to go the same place, the same way, every day. Mm-hmm. It's like, what's switching rooms going to do? Like, bro, like, no, like, the only difference is, I ain't got to bike, I ain't got to wake up from my nap to move to another class. Yeah, just to get straight nap. And the past, the past teacher dude at the time, like, all you had to do is start talking about, like, farms or chickens or some shit, and you, you was done. You ain't doing nothing else. You, you's good. You solid, like. The whole I should have a tear when he left. If I retired, and I was like, bro, do you remember his retirement speech? God, nice. Bro, that shit was straight inspiration. Yeah. Like, bro. Was, I got goosebumps. Was, I did too. I was like, that, yeah. like other other speeches, like you get like one or two, like for him, everyone's like, stand it up, man. Everyone, it was like, like it was like lit. Everyone was like, was like, he was he he was straight killing it. I bet all the other teachers that like gave like it, like leaving speeches and heard about that shit was probably like fucking a man. Mm-hmm. Makes him so great. He legit made detention kind of fun. Yeah. It was fun as fuck because he'd scare the freshmen. Yeah. It was like and then fucking all writing's good right. My rewriting's the best writing. Yeah. I remember that sh- that shit stuck. My dad remembers that. Hell yeah. My dad remembers saying Hell that. Yeah. Fucking hey, he was great. Like freshmen, like I don't understand why freshmen. I've literally seen like so many freshman kids, probably sophomores too, roll up in there with, like tears. Granted, they were the, they were the kids that looked like they had like had to like get straight A's, they get beat the fuck up by their parents. You're right, you're right. But still, like why? They act like they're going to jail. Like bro, you gotta go to the same school, at the same time. And yeah, like you leave, you leave at the same time. You do the same shit. What's the problem? I kind of liked it a lot of times because I like sitting there and like actually think and like wouldn't have to listen to you know, like a combination of cunts, you know, screaming and, and you know niggas wouldn't do shit and you know all this other stuff, you know. Yeah. You know? No one time we told the principal we had to go cash your check. Fucking a dude. Some I mean him got school. We had another dude, but his heart wasn't as into it and he had to stay. But, See, he he didn't have the mindset of we are leaving. No, yeah, no, see, that was his problem. He wasn't determined. See, yeah, he wasn't determined to win. He seen flaws in the plan, and he got butt fucked. So, look, it was lunch period. I mean, this one, we're like, look, we going fishing. We going fishing. Well, we had to come up with a legit reason to leave. Because it was, our lunch was, like, exactly in the middle of the day. Yeah. Right? Well, like, it was, like, 11-ish, like, kind of mid-morning. It was after the first three classes. We got six periods. So, yeah, it was a, it was a little bit before. We ate, and I'm like, dude, let's just leave. 
because our school when you're 18 you can just sign out and go mm -hmm. but it got so bad like our senior class just signed out like midday if they'd skip a class they didn't everyone, like and then come back like everybody everyone 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 left i just straight didn't go half the time because yeah. i didn't because i didn't i didn't, I didn't <laughs> have a vehicle so i was like no i ain't taking a risk <laughs> like one time we took a field trip to like a factory and they were showing us around and we came back all the vocational kids everyone fucking left everyone left and went to the lake Everybody. Everybody. There's like a lake, like two. I remember. Two miles. I skipped that day and I was just like eating. Like at the lake, there's a restaurant. I was just eating casually, eating on a burger, munching and shit. And I just see senior after senior is jumping the lake. Yeah. But, but, yeah, I was there. But that's besides the point. What, what the fuck was we doing? What the fuck I don't remember what we were talking about? So, me, me and this one was like, Oh, yeah. Yeah, we leaving. And there was another guy. Gad, Gaddy Daddy. Gaddy Daddy. Oh, Gaddy Daddy. Gaddy Daddy. And he's like, Well, he, I mean, he really, we had like, we just, like, algebra, we weren't doing shit. And he like, knew that. The, like, the, like the plan was simple. We came like two seconds. He's like, I want. He's like, I want to go fishing. Me too. He's like, I, I drove. I want to leave. We gotta go get your check. Let's go. So we pull up to the principal, who's in the lunchroom, you know, just chilling because they have like staff duty in the lunchroom, make sure nothing happens. And we pull up and we're like, Hey, look, um, he needs to go cash his check before three, because. I don't know, his bank's closing today or something. We, I mean, we, we made up the biggest bullshit lie. It's like, it's like we had to go get my check. I couldn't, I had to work, I couldn't get it today because I had to work. And before and I didn't go into after three, blank closes at three. I gotta work today. I gotta work tomorrow. And by the time I'm off on the weekend, but the bank closed. That's true. My only opportunity is right now. You don't stand in my way. And I mean, I was being respectful and I was like, yeah, yeah, we'll be right back, I promise. And then, well, Gaddy Daddy was like, well, she's like, well, you're, you're driving him. Yeah. Well, that makes sense, but what are you doing? He's like, oh, I got to go get my check, too. Yeah, and then he, she, she literally says, well, what time does your bank close? He said, four. She's like, no, you got time. Go sit down. I was so like, you dude. fucked up. That's the only way you can fuck up. fucked up, yeah. She's like, like, I would have, I would if, if Gaddy Daddy wouldn't have said that, I would have been like, yeah, dude, he works with me. He works the same place. Like, yeah. he, got, he, got me, he got me the job there, actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would have worked. It would have worked. She wouldn't argue with it because she, 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 she you know, we just sat there and bitched and begged her, so let's go anyway. And she's like, well, I don't know about it, you know, like, she was trying to motion us to, like, sit down, and we just, like, st we were still there. We, we was leaving either way, like, we didn't matter. She's, she, she literally said, I think we, we, I think we both thought at the same time, but she's like, I don't care how old you are, you ain't, you, you ain't, you won't leave unless I say so, and I was like, you won't bet, that's what I was thinking. He's better walk out the door. Yeah. I was literally thinking, you won't bet, he's got, he's got keys and he's got gas and he knows where I live and. Mm -hmm. I'm about to have money. I mean, so money, gas isn't an issue. I, yeah. I think we, I think we good. So, basically, she said, as long as you come back within 30 minutes, I said, okay, we can do that. Can do Literally, that. runs in the back, in the parking lot, gets the fishing poles ready, leaves, gets his check. He did, we did ask Scottish check, cash it, yeah. put like 20 in gas. No, it wasn't 20. It was like 10, yeah. and then put like five in bait. And we went, sat in the back of my truck, parked next to the lake. Fish until about 2:50. Came back with like five yeah. minutes of school left. Signed back in and then came back long enough to get on the bus. But like real shit. Like there's a sign which you have to sign and like he he signed uh, something like I don't know. Well, I don't know what. You no, said. I put the same thing you did. Literally yeah. put I put put got him gone fishing. Yeah. Bull, real shit. No joke. I wrote gone fishing on the side of the sheet. Same. But literally, I, I literally jumped in the fucking back. I'm getting the poles ready. He guns it out. The, he can fucking guns it out the parking lot. Scared. Lake bound, nigga. That is. I swear to God, I bet she. I bet she looked out the doors we left, and she's like, "Fuck." And after that, she she loves the nerve. She's like, "That's a little more than thirty minutes, boys." Literally, like, we got stuck in traffic. I was done. That's what he said. I was done. I mean, I, I already won. I was like, "Gone fishing." <laughs> I didn't give a fuck. I done won. She, like, she didn't let me leave after that. Like, I one day I dead ass had like a valid excuse, and she's like, "No." I was like, "Okay." I just should have left anyway. Yeah, that's all understandable. I would have left anyway. It was like two weeks of school left. So, I mean, like no three weeks. Fuck, so if she shit. takes your last week, it's a fuck if they think you're out the driveway. Right? If they don't let you drive. If they don't let you drive, they just park the fucking across the street. Mm -hmm. Don't fuck off. <laughs> that's what I would do. Bro, I'm about to cut this off. Man, it was like 30 minutes before, before that. Like, literally, like, while we're on this. Uh, there's one time my dead ass actually walked to school. Hell yeah. Yeah, I literally walked to fucking high school. Yeah. They seen me, and they's like, "You can't do that." I was like, "Why?" And some about some do the four way or some shit. Mm -hmm. Something that had nothing to do with them. And I'm like, "What was that? Was that matter to you?" They're like, we can't have students getting injured, blah blah blah, going to school or whatever. 
And I'm like, and I was, I looked at him. I'm like, valid point, except, except, y'all niggas think you own me, but you don't own me until I walk in this door for the, until I walk in this door, mm -hmm. and then you own me until three o'clock. So what I do before then, it ain't your business. And they just looked at me, and I was like, yeah. I'm thinking like, argue with it. Cause that's real. I mean, I know they think they do, but they ain't got no saying what I do for, before like eight o'clock. Right. Don't trust me. They've tried, and I've just I've told them fuck off. I got my truck taken away for a week because I saw myself out and I was just riding around Mount Vernon, and then I, I saw my parents. <laughs> that's a four way, and I just kept going. Good. Just I went going. in the high school parking lot and parked, and then you know the security guard, that yeah. little lady, she stops my parents and she's like, literally, "What the fuck are you doing here?" And they're like, that's my son. I don't know why he was out of school. And she wouldn't let him go back there. So I just kind of sat in my truck for like 10 fucking minutes. Just trying to hide out. Mm -hmm. Fuck. Dude, shit, that's like 30 minutes long, nigga. We out because you don't kill my battery. I'll, battery. Up, I'll upload another and I'll upload in another month. That's my new thing. I'm uploading once a month now. Nah. I'll You'll see a video next week. Probably. Probably. I don't I really have been recording a lot because I've been trolling for and shit. Ooh, low battery mode. Ooh. Oh, I got a little battery notification. Ooh. I listen. Walk up, walk up. We outie.